Quick video to show you how easy it is to clean out one of these Cobalt EXT external canister filters. What I normally do is wrap a towel around this top of this filter because when you release this valve, you usually get a pop of water that comes out and can spill out. So I'll kind of keep it open so you can see how much water I'm talking about. Once I unlock it here, this is also a flow valve as well. If you want to increase or decrease the flow, you can. But watch when we pop it off. Get a little bit of water, not much. And this will stay sealed and the pump inside will just continue to circulate. I have my pumps located inside the tank, not external. Alright, we'll take it outside. All right, at this point I'll typically, since it's completely full, I'll just dump it out a little bit before I pop the top off of it. Very easy to pull the top off. That's it there. I'll just pull out the internal trays. I've got a lot of biomedia on the top. I'll run carbon, the second one. And here I've got two layers of microfiber. Just to give it a little bit of polish, you can see it, two different layers of different materials in here. And I'll typically just rinse these out, squeeze them out. Pop them back in there. And the bottom layer is the original sponge that came with the with the canister, which works pretty good. It hasn't even begun to wore out yet. You just rinse it out, squeeze it out. Now with these two, I'll usually take a hose and just kind of get some debris off within here. Same thing with the biomedia. Some people might complain or think that spraying off this biomedia with tap water is not the best thing to do, but I've never had a problem. My ammonia levels in this 75 gallon cyclic tank stay at zero. I don't think I'm dousing it too much. But besides that, when you do water changes, you end up with tap water in your tank anyway. Force treated. Clean the out the bottom of this out a little bit. It collects a little bit of debris, not much. And that's about it. Put it back together. Mechanical sponge filters on the bottom and carbon. And then the biomedia on top. Now, when I fill this or when I reassemble this, what makes it easier to do is to go ahead and, oh, hold on, I forgot, so I was trying to explain it to you. I'll just go ahead and fill this up now with water. If I don't do it here, I'll just be doing it in the tank later. I run three canister filters on the 75 gallon tank and if they're all three have changed, it, uh, it's about five gallons of water that ends up coming out of the tank. So if I fill them up here, it's a little easier to deal with than having to do add water and tank later. Just pop the top back on. Do your sides. And it stays on there pretty tight. I've never had a problem with these things really sealing. Except initially when I didn't understand how the seal worked. I got a piece of microfiber stuck in there from the original polishing cloth that they give you with this filter, which is junk. Which has since been removed. It had gotten in between the seal, caused a little bit of a leak. But ever since then, they these things have never leaked on me. They work like champs. I'm just drying it off. It just makes it easier to see later on if there is a possible leak in it. Alright, let's take it back in. Oh, I put this on backwards. 
and reverse this. There we go. Clean it off one last time. Okay, put it back in here. Just take the top. Line it up, seat it down, push it down a little bit, twist it over, and you'll see it start to bubble up. A little bit of debris left in the hoses, I guess, or in the line, it gets loosened up with all that air. It filters out within a half hour or so, and that's it. There's your EXT filter cleaning.